Indonesia is endowed with the world's third largest area of tropical rainforest, covering 67% of the country's landmass. For the past five decades, forests and forestry have played significant role in the economic development of the country. Rampant illegal logging has significantly reduced Indonesia's forest cover area and cost the country with substantial financial losses from uncollected fees and underestimated royalties. Indonesia is committed to reducing deforestation and forest degradation by strengthening law enforcement against illegal logging and improving forest governance. To complement law enforcement efforts, Indonesia has developed a national timber legality assurance system called the SVLK or System Verifikasi Legalitas Kayu. The SVLK provides incentives for legality by promoting market access for verified legal products and blocking market access for illegal products. The SVLK also promotes broader governance reforms such as improved information, transparency, capacity, and community rights. Indonesia developed SVLK through a multi-stakeholder consultative process involving stakeholders in government, the private sector, and civil society since 2001. SVLK sets both sustainability and legality standards for management units in the forest industry which consists of Legality of permits for concession holders, tenures, business permits. Implementation of sustainable forest management throughout the production cycle, including forest fire prevention. Maintenance of ecosystems biodiversity, including water resources and protection of endangered flora and fauna. Adherence to the principle of free prior informed consent or FPIC in consulting with local and indigenous communities over production activities and tenure issues as well as compliance to labor laws. SVLK covers all forest-based management units from upstream to downstream. SVLK also requires strong supply chain control through well-documented transport of raw material and product at every node of the supply chain. With the above standards and requirements on legality and sustainability, SVLK strengthens forest governance, prevents deforestation, and ultimately contributes to climate change mitigation. To track the supply chain, the Ministry of Environment and Forestry is developing an integrated online data that tracks the entire chain of custody. Indonesia has set up an online database called SILK, which serves as a registry of the legal documents. SILK links automatically with information systems in the Indonesian Ministry of Trade and the Customs Office of the Ministry of Finance. Competent authorities in export markets can query SILK to verify the legal documents and seek clarifications if necessary. In 2013, Indonesia signed the Forest Law Enforcement Governance and Trade Voluntary Partnership Agreement or FLECTI VPA with the EU, making it the first country in Asia to negotiate and ratify a FLECTI VPA with the European Union. This agreement was ratified through a presidential decree in 2014 that states Indonesia's commitment to only trade in legal timber to all markets. The ultimate goal of the Indonesia-EU VPA process is to ensure that all timber products imported into the EU from Indonesia have been legally produced. Indonesian timber is deemed legal when its origin, production, processing, transport and trade are verified as meeting all applicable Indonesian laws and regulations included in the VPA legality definition. By the 1st of November 2016, SVLK has certified around 13.64 million hectares of forest concessions and private forests and more than 2,843 forest-based enterprises and industries. 100% of timber harvested in natural forest concessions, as well as 100% of timber coming from plantation forest concessions was SVLK certified. 
Indonesia exported SVLK licensed timber products to 202 countries in the world. Licensed timber products traveled from 107 ports in Indonesia to 2,944 ports overseas. The system and subsystem is maintained and improved from time to time to ensure the credibility of SVLK. On the 21st of April 2016, Indonesia's President Joko Widodo and EU President Jean-Claude Juncker issued a joint statement on the preparation towards Indonesia flag tea license. On the 15th of September 2016, the EU-Indonesia Joint Implementation Committee officially confirmed that Indonesia has met all requirements to be the first country in the world to issue flag tea license for timber exports to the EU. The start date for the Indonesia flag tea license is 15th of November 2016. Indonesia has been able to develop and implement a robust system to provide the evidence over the legality of our timber product through SVLK. It is the time for regulated timber market to accept legally verified timber from Indonesia.